From fish to ferries, seagrasses to ships, whales to wind turbines, our seas are busy places. But we've overexploited their resources, polluted their waters, destroyed habitats, and the climate crisis is bringing unparalleled changes. To make sure our activities are in balance with nature, we need a tool that considers our complex relationship with the sea. The good news is we have it, and it's called maritime spatial planning. This is a science-based approach that considers all economic and ecological factors of a marine area and involves stakeholders in planning sustainable activities. This gives a voice to those whose livelihoods are tied to our seas, those disproportionately affected by climate change and those underrepresented in decision-making. Areas are reserved both geographically and over time to all the activities in our seas. As new projects and data emerge, the current plan is reviewed and updated. This approach to managing our seas helps us to sustainably harvest resources and develop renewable energy technologies, while restoring nature and ending harmful activities. Most countries already designate or zone marine spaces, but this is often done on a sector-by-sector -sector basis, failing to consider how activities interact, overlap and affect one another, as well as their impact on the natural world. This can lead to conflicts between sectors and pits human activities and nature against each other. Healthy seas play a critical role to mitigate climate change. They are the largest carbon sinks on our planet, protect our coastlines and ensure our food security and well-being. Maritime spatial planning is the right tool to plan for a sustainable future by making sure our maritime activities are in balance with nature.